Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video today I will be unboxing the Electro Harmonics Battalion, which is the Electro Harmonics uh, preamp bass pedal with built-in compression and a built-in distortion. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Here's the package delivered by DPD. So yeah, let's open it up. And there it is. So the Battalion by Electro Harmonics. So yeah, let's get this box open and see what it looks like in person. Okay, so inside the box we have the power supply. Uh, I'm not actually sure what power supply it, this is because uh, I didn't read what it takes. Uh, 9 volt DC. So that's kind of like your standard, um, standard pedal board power supply, which is great. And here we have the actual pedal. Wrapped up nicely. There it is. You might focus. Nice and colourful. Yeah, looks really cool. So straight away, obviously as you can see, we've got the distortion pedal right there. And uh, we've got a bypass there. So I'm guessing the bypass, I think that bypasses all the EQ. Um, so we have all these controls up here. Um, so this is for the distortion controls. You've got a level, blend, drive, and tone control. Um, then on the EQ, obviously got your bass, low, mid, high, mid, treble. Uh, you've also got um, a pad right here, which reduces the sound by 10 decibels. Um, right here, you've got your compression switch. So it turns your compression on and off, and you've also got a control uh, right there to control how much compression you've got on your bass signal um, and you've got right here uh, a volume as well of a gate so I presume uh, that works as a noise gate which is really cool uh, on the side uh, this is the output side so you've got a um, quarter inch jack output or you've got um, a DI output which is an XLR output uh, so that would be the one that you would use if you're going straight into a PA system, which is the reason I bought this because uh, I've just joined the new band as a bassist and I don't want to be cutting around my big bass amp on tour. So I thought, why not treat myself to a little preamp pedal? Um, so you've got volume control on the side, uh, which is your output volume, I presume. Uh, you've also got a bypass and a ground lift on that uh, for any interference. And your uh, power input there on the back. So yeah. Let's hear how this sounds. Okay, so I've got everything set up now. Um, where the battalion has the green light on, uh, which means it is working. Um, so I'll turn it off, and I will play you just the clean tone from this bass. Um, so that's just the clean tone. Um, I'm running straight into Logic, straight into the interface. Uh, no effects, nothing. This is all the battalion. So I'll put it on and uh, let's hear the difference. So uh, you can see the EQ settings I've got, just a bit of a bass boost um, and a bit of a mid treble decrease. So let's change it up. Let's increase the trebles and take the bass out a bit. So as you can tell, um, the EQs do, in fact, <laughs> affect the sound. Who'd have thought? Uh, yeah, let's put this back to a, a nicer sounding tone. Go for that. So yeah, uh, like I said, it does have an inbuilt compression in. So let's put the compression on. Turn it up a bit so you can hear it. So yeah, that's your compression. Uh, if you didn't know compression, it, it reduces the, the noise difference in your bass, so when you're playing quietly and playing loudly, uh, it makes it a more even volume. So we also have a noise gate, the noise gate's set a uh, medium to low kind of kind of level, so I'll turn it up a bit, uh, like that. and then you'll hear it. And there you go, so the gate has now cut out the noise, because the noise has fallen below the level that I've just set. So, there you go. Uh, I'll turn the gate back down. So it's mainly for like, obviously, if you've got a lot of noisy pedals on, there's a lot of noise coming from the amp. Uh, when you're not playing, the noise gate will cut all that out, so you've got a completely silent signal, which is great. Um, so that's a very handy thing for it to have. 
Um, and also we've got the, the distortion as well, so I'll clip that on. I do know other songs other than uh, fucking Longview. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the distortion. There are lots of controls for that again. Uh, you've also got a little switch here uh, for pre EQ, post EQ, and dry EQ. So that is where you, in the signal change, you want the distortion to be in effect. I've currently got it set at pre EQ, so let's change it to post EQ. So the distortion will be after the signal has been affected by the EQ. I'll play a different song. Yeah. So it's a bit more distorted, that's because um, the signal has not yet been affected by uh, the e uh, it has been affected, sorry, by the EQ uh, when it runs into this, the distortion. So post EQ means EQ then distortion, pre EQ means distortion then EQ. Uh, and then you've got a completely dry um, uh, distortion, so this means that there's a, uh, it's not affected by the EQ at all. So it's a completely separate entity. Um, So you've just got loads of different options to play with basically, it's very subtle differences um, but it's just nice to have so I'll play, I'll turn the blend down a bit on the distortion um. uh, Turn the blend up, turn this up, turn the tone up as well so it should be like a really heavier uh, I can't even think of anything heavy to play now uh, I can't think of any heavy, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there you go, uh, I'd say loads of different options with um, the distortion which is great, uh, it's really nice to see that you can actually just shape your tone completely how you want, um, so yeah, this is a really great little little box, uh, it's a good substitute for cutting around a big amp, uh, which is what I've bought it for because I don't want to take my amp on tour because it takes up van space which is very valuable. Um, so yeah, there you go, that is the uh, Electro Harmonics Battalion. Uh, I'm pretty new to all this kind of like pre ampy stuff, um, so I apologise if I got anything wrong. Uh, but if you've got any more questions on this, feel free to hit me up in the comments section and I will reply to as many as I can. Um, it also came in the box I forgot to mention with... Um, uh, a little user manual uh, and a warranty as well which is great as well so yeah I think I've covered most if not everything on that um, yeah so thank you very much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped you make a decision on whether you want to buy this pedal I got this from GAC uh, G -A -K, uh, for £112 so it's pretty good value if you ask me for all, all what you get uh, if I can spend that money and replace my amp on tour, then that's great, <laughs> great news. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah,